Praise the Lord and good afternoon to everyone. We do welcome you. We welcome you to the Mount Calvary, our midday manor. Uh, we asking that when you come on, uh, when you come on, we asking that you will uh, push those share buttons. Put those share buttons. Truly, we thank God. We thank God that you're here today. We thank God for His blessings that He has bestowed upon us. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer. I would like to read, first of all, I'm going to read our announcements for today, and then we're going to uh, have our prayer. It says, today is the first day of summer. We're, we're continuing to pray for First Lady Tyson, as well as the McCall family in the loss of Keymorn Black, son of Nina Jackson. Also praying for Sister Debbie Spivey, in the loss of her son, Jesse Kellen. And our, uh, tonight's online Bible class will be at 7 p.m. Thursday, June 23rd, there will be 4 to 6 p.m. hot meal ministry and also sanctuary uh, prayer, sanctuary prayer for 6 to 7 p.m. Saturday, June the 25th, the Mount Calvary Baccarat celebration for all 2021-2022 graduates from 3 to 5 p.m. And on Sunday, June the 26th, Pastor and Calvary will join Innovation Life Church for Pastor Kent Barnes and for Kent Barnes' 40th birthday celebration at 3 p.m. Uh, govern yourself according to those announcements. As we get ready to go before the Lord, as I said, we do thank you and we welcome you. We thank you for this midday, uh, our midday afternoon uh, Bible class. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we come, God, we do thank you. We bless you. We praise you, God, for who you are, God. We thank you for being that sovereign God, being the God that is ever present with us. We thank you, God, for your peace even right now, God. We thank you for your loving kindness and your faithfulness, God, that you have shown each one of us, Lord. Said new mercies every day. And Father, I ask, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, recognizing, God, that I can do nothing without you. And God, we looking unto you, God, that you will speak, O oh God, through thy servant, through the word of God, God, speak, through me, God, with clarity, God, in the name of Jesus, clarity of thought and speech, O oh God, that which you have given unto me, God, that I will be able to deliver it as you have spoken, O oh God. Now continue to bless. Remember those that's on the way, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bring them here safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I do want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, for who you are. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask as you turn into your Bibles, as you turn into your Bibles, over in Isaiah, the 40th chapter. That will be Isaiah, the 40th chapter. And we're going to begin to read with verse, in verse 18. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. We do thank the Lord today. God is great and he's ever present with us. He is on our side. He said he will never leave us. He will never forsake us, but he's with us always. So we do thank him today. And as we begin to go in the word of God, we want to ask God, hallelujah, Lord, let me receive your word. Let me receive your word gladly into my heart because the word of God, hallelujah, it's words of life that he has given unto us. So I give honor to my pastor, Suffolk and Bishop C. Sean Tyson, and Pastor Krista Tyson, hallelujah, and the saints of God, hallelujah. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord, because when we can look back a year ago, hallelujah, we were not able to be here. So we thank God, we thank God for bringing us today. And as I said, my scripture will be found in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, it's going to begin reading with verse 18. It says, To whom then will ye liken God, 
or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold and casteth silver change. He that is so impoverished that he has have no oblation chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. And verse 21, because at this time Israel, uh, Israel um, here it was the prophet Isaiah was prophesying unto them, and he was letting them to know about the graven images that they had uh, uh, made at that time that they were bowing down to. So here in verse 21, he's saying, Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundation of the word, of the world, of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circuit of the earth. Hallelujah. And that lets us to know right, uh, right now when we say he sits on the circuit of the earth. Hallelujah. When scientists and man say that, the, that is the earth is not round. But God speaks to us and let us know he sits upon the circuit of the earth. And the, habitation, and the habitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretch out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. And then I'm going to go down to verse 25. It said, to whom? He speaks again, will ye liken me? Or shall I be equal, said the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and behold, who hath created these things that bringeth out their hosts by number? He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, not one falleth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and he's speaking, why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Hallelujah. 28, he's repeating this again. Hallelujah, from the verse of 21, he said, Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he feigneth not. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? He said, Has thou not heard and has thou not known that the everlasting God, he's the eternal God, he's the God of all creation, he's the beginning and he's the end. He said that I fainteth not. If some of you think that God faints, hallelujah. He said, I faint not, hallelujah. God said, I'm not, uh, neither is I'm weary, neither, neither is I'm weary. There is no searching up his understanding, hallelujah. He giveth, verse 29 said, he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. He said, and this is where my text is coming out. It said, but they that wait, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Said, they that wait. When he talked about, have ye not known, have ye not heard that, have it not been told you from the beginning? Hallelujah. He's telling them, he's reminding them from history. He's reminding them what they heard, hallelujah, by their fathers, what they heard by the old patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's telling them to remember what you heard. Have you not understood? Have you not understood from the foundations of the world? God know it to be the only true God. He's the only true God that makes and the He made, He's the maker and the governor of the world. Genesis one and one tells us in the beginning God. Mm, he said in the beginning 
God was God. Hallelujah. In the beginning, God created. He created the heavens. He created the earth. Hallelujah. Uh, and then he tells us over in St. John, when he says, in the beginning, God, he's that self-existing one. God was already here even before he created the world. Hallelujah. He's self-existing. He's that motivating force. Hallelujah. He's the only wise God. He's full of all wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah. And St. John 1 and 2 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Hallelujah. And then it tells us that over in St. John 1, 14, it tells us, And the Word became flesh, and it dwelled among, and he dwelled among us. So here he's letting us know, he's reminding us who he is. He's that sovereign God. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. Say, uh, Psalms 19 and 1 says, the heavens declare his glory. Talking about the heavens, when we go outside and we begin to look up, we can see the glory of God. And the heavens Hallelujah. The firmament shall show his handiwork. The sun, the moon, and the stars talking about the heavens. Hallelujah. This is the language of the prophet reproving them. Here he's Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah is repro reproving them for complaining of being forsaken and assuring them God was faithful to his promise. He's faithful to his promise. Just by letting them to know that the heavens declare his uh, his glory, everything that God has created in the beginning in Genesis 1, it tells us everything that he created, everything that he made said it is good when he got finished with it. He's, Isaiah 40 and 28 in the uh, NIV version said, do you not know, have you not heard the Lord is the everlasting God. He's the everlasting God. He's the creator. He's the unweary God. He does not get tired. Hallelujah. He's reminding them. And sometimes we got to be reminded who we, who God is, especially when we're going through things. When we didn't been in a test, when we didn't been in a trial, when we've been going through some stuff. How many of you been going through some stuff? Hallelujah. How many of you wondering if I'm ever going to come out of this? Uh, or is it always going to be like this? Uh, but God God is speaking of us today. You got to remember what he's already done. Remember where he brought you from. Remember that last test that you were in and he brought you out. He's a faithful God. So God, here are the prophet Isaiah. He's reminding them. Sometimes we have to stand still and just remember what God has done. Not remembering the bad things, but not remembering the negative stuff, but remember what he's done for you remember when he brought you out remember when you were sick the last time uh, hallelujah and you didn't think you was going to make it through then uh, but God brought you out uh, he delivered you uh, hallelujah so what is God telling us uh, he's telling us we got to remember that's why he said hast thou not known hast thou not heard uh, hallelujah that the everlasting God uh, the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth. Uh, he fainteth not, uh, neither is he weary. Hallelujah. Neither is there no searching of his understanding. Hallelujah. He tells them uh, and over in Psalms 24, you got to remember the earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof, the world and all they that dwell in therein. So that includes us. Uh, we're dwelling in the world. Uh, we're dwelling in the place that God has created us. Uh, so he said, 
think. Hallelujah. And then the message Bible, it speaks. It speaks, don't you know every? He said, don't you know anything? Hallelujah. Don't you know anything? Don't you know anything? Hallelujah. Sometimes we can come to a place that we forget what God has done. Hallelujah. But we have to know what God has done. In that hard place, uh, in that confused place, uh, hallelujah. And when we begin to know what he's done in these different places, in these different seasons of our life, because we're going to go through one season to the next season, hallelujah. But the seasons, what do they do? They change. Seasons is just for appointed time. Hallelujah. And God has, hmm, God has appointed the time of the seasons. Talking about the natural time. God even appoints the spiritual time, those spiritual season times of your life. Hallelujah. So you got to remember that. Hallelujah. It said, have you been listening? Mm, have we been listening? Hallelujah. Don't you know anything? Have you been listening? This is in the message Bible. God doesn't come or go. Mm. Hallelujah. He doesn't come or go. Hallelujah. We got to remember he's ever present. Yeah. He's ever present. He's always there. Shama. He's always with us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it may not feel that he's there. Because the test seemed to get harder and harder. Hallelujah. But he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. So that's a hallelujah. He's letting us to know that I'm with you. Yes. I haven't ran off and left you. I'm in the test with you. Yeah, Shama. So he don't come. He don't go. He's ever present. He's omnipresent. He's always there. You may not feel him all the time. It may not look like he's there. Hallelujah. It may not seem like he's there, but you got to believe he's there. Yeah. Why do I got to believe he's there? Because the word says yeah. he spoke unto us. He let us to know we don't go by our feelings. We don't go by what we see. Hallelujah. But we go by what God says. How many of you go by what God says? Yella bako shama. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. We go by what he says. Not what the government is saying. Not what the legislators are saying. But we go by what God said. What did God say? Through his word. Through the Raymond spoken word when he spoke unto you. Do you remember that word? Shama. Or have we forgot the word that God spoke unto us? Do we forget the word that God speaks unto us from one Sunday to the next Sunday? Do we forget it? Do we leave it here in the service? Or do we take that word and begin to feast off that word and begin to let that word become life unto us and begin to speak that word by the man or the woman of God, whoever God has before us. So he said he don't come, he don't go. But God lasts. He's last. He's always there. He's cre his creator of all you can see. Hallelujah. But how many of us know that God spoke unto us? He said, the just shall do what? We shall walk by faith and not by sight. So those things that we are seeing in this pandemic and even in all this that are going on, that inflation, everything that we're seeing and everything that we're feeling, he said, the just shall walk by what? By faith. Do we have the faith to believe God? Do we have the faith? The uh, word of God said, faith coming by hearing. Yeah. Got to hear the word of God. Right. Hallelujah. It didn't say faith come by seeing, but he said faith come by what? Hearing. Faith come by. And what we see, 
Shama, with this natural eye, the things that we see, the things that we feel, it's just temporary. All right, you hear that? It's temporary. It's not your permanent place. But you got to hang in there when it don't seem like it, when it don't feel like it. Hang in there when your flesh telling you to give up and turn around. Hang in there when you feel like throwing up your hands. Hallelujah, because it's not by sight. Faith is not by sight. And said, he that cometh to God, we must believe that he's God. He's God all by himself. So what we do in the waiting, in the waiting period for God to deliver us. You got to know that he's going to deliver. See, that's first of all, he's going to deliver. He said he's going to deliver. He doesn't get tired and he doesn't pause to catch his breath. Mm. He don't get tired and he don't pause to catch his breath because he is breath. He's life. So he don't have to pause like we do when we're doing something physically. Hallelujah. Out walking. On the, on the, out walking even in your neighborhood at the gym or you're doing some physical activity. Sometimes we have to pause to catch our breath, but God don't have to catch his breath. (laughs) Woo! Glory to God. We, God doesn't have to catch his breath. And he knows everything inside and out. He said he sees everything inside and out. He's omniscient, so he knows all things. He knows what's on the inside, and he knows what's on the outside. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. He knows what's in the heart. He knows those secret things. He knows those secret faults. He knows what's on the inside. He knows the pain. Because sometimes we can put a smile on our face. But there's so much pain on the inside. But God's speaking to us today to let us know. I know what's on the inside. I know what's on the inside of you. And I know, hallelujah, what caused you to be in the pain. Not just physical pain, but it can be a mental pain. It can be an emotional pain. God said, but I know it's there. Hallelujah. But he's saying unto the day, hallelujah, if we want to receive the promise of God, we got to release everything. We can't hold on to nothing. And think, that's why, you know what they said, why says is thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord. Our way is not hid from him. He sees everything. We are naked before him. I may hide from you with that smile. I may hide from you thinking that, hallelujah, that I'm okay. But God knows my heart, and that's what God wants to give to the heart. See, when we're going through something, when we're in a season of testing and trials, they for our good. Hallelujah. I said they for our good. We may not like it, but it's for our good. So God is, is, is telling us that there's benefits of waiting upon the Lord when you're in your test. Sometimes we try to get out of it. We said, hmm, it's too hot up in here. <laughs> I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. This is the way we feel. This is the way we think. But there's benefits of waiting upon the Lord. God is not a man that he should lie. He tells us that over in Numbers 23, 19. He said, I'm not a man. I'm not like you. You're supposed to be like me. Because he created us in his image, in his likeness. Hallelujah. And before we can get in alignment with God's image and his likeness, we're going to go through some things. 
How it's working for our good, though. He said it's working for our good. So he said, I'm not a man that I should lie, neither the son of man that I have to repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Have he told you some things? And because it didn't happen when you thought, you thought it should happen. Amen. A lot of times when God tells us something, we think it's going to happen tomorrow, next week. But how many of us know that they're going to come a waiting period? There's going to come a waiting period. Yes. And sometimes that period is going to be a long time. Yes. But God knows what he's doing. He's perfecting. Yes. He's perfecting those things that concern us yes. in the waiting period. And then he also let me to know that, hallelujah. Remember the scripture says, in, in, in your patience, possess ye your soul. So in our patience, in our endurance, in our perseverance, in those tests and those trials, it's possessing. We being able to possess our soul. Because if we don't possess our soul, our soul takes control of us. Our emotions, our feelings, our th way of thinking. That's why he said that let this mind be in us that's also in Christ Jesus. So it's in the test, it's in the trial that we learn how to begin to think like him. And how can I think like him? It's through reading his word, through studying the word of God, through hearing the word. So that's how I can begin to possess my soul. Because see, uh, this soul can get out of whack. Yeah. When everything is not going the way that you would like to, you can tell somebody off, up and down. You can cut them with your mouth. But God's trying to kill all of that. I believe the scripture said that we die daily. This flesh got to die daily. It got to die out. It got to die out. Whether we want to die or not, it got to die. And sometimes we're in that test. We're in that season of testing. But who all knows that there's a time that that season is over? That Caesar, it, that season comes to an end. So he's saying over in Psalms 89 and 34, he said, my covenant will I not break, <laughs> nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. That which has gone out of his mouth, out of his, he said, I'm not going to alter it. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it back, those things I spoke to you. How many of you remember the promise? Promises. How do you, how many of us remember that spoken, that rhema word that God gave unto you and, and how you, hallelujah, and you haven't received it yet? You got to hold on to that word. That word is not going to fall to the ground unless you put it down there. You got to hold on to it with all you can. Because the devil going to come and try to steal, kill, and destroy you. He's going to take the word. You know what? Even soon God give you the word, the devil come. But what did God tell us? What did Jesus speak unto this? It is written. That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. He didn't say some words. He said every word that what proceedeth out of my mouth. There is a proceeding word. How many have been waiting on the proceeding word? When you're waiting, you're, uh, uh, the scripture tells us, let me go, let me find this. It tells us that even in our waiting, And our waiting, it's not, uh, uh, we're just sitting there. Uh -huh. But when we're waiting, we're waiting in expectation. Yes. We waiting to see what God said come to pass. Have we been waiting? Have we still, are we still expecting? Because it's steady getting, seemed like, huh, and just in the last, what, 20, and we're in 22 now, 
be in a little bit, we'd be going in 23, still in the pandemic, still seeing all this violence, still seeing all the racism, still see, hey, and experiencing inflation. My daughter asked me the other day, she said, have you, uh, said, said, did you ever have to go through this? Only thing when I look back, because I'll be 71 next, year, uh, next month. But when I look back, I don't remember. Only thing I remember experience when we used to have to eat the government food. Now, I remember that. But some of this other stuff I don't remember in my lifetime. This is new to me, and I guess it's new to many of us. Hallelujah. And sometimes we think we don't, Lord, what are you doing? But he is the only wise God, the Bible tells us. And that's why we have to keep our ear to the voice of God. What is God saying in this time? Corporately, individually. You know, your personal self. What is he saying unto you? Hallelujah. Because if we don't have our ear, the scripture tells us over in Revelation, it tells us to let the church hear what the spirit is saying unto the church. What is he saying? We, you know, when you, we come to service, we can hear the word of God. Yes. But wh what is he saying to us? Your, your, yourself. What is he saying? We got to come, and uh, when we hear the word of God, we got to grab our part, whatever it may be. It may be some cor correction part that he's throwing out there. We don't want to look at our sister. We don't want to look at our brother. But we want to say, that's me, Lord, <laughs> standing in the need of prayer. Hallelujah. But he's saying that, that uh, uh, in your patience possess your souls. Yes. Let this mind be in you, which also in Christ Jesus. We have to learn how to adopt the attitude as that of Christ. Same thought. Hallelujah. We take possession of our soul, souls through patience. Create and build ourselves according to the new life that God has given us. And place in us. He give, He said, if any man be in Christ, he's what? He's a new creature. Those old things have passed away. And behold, these uh, 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 all, uh, be, old things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. So he's telling us we have to create it. We have to create that new thing in us that God has put in us. We can't continue to walk in the old way. In that old way. Uh, of speaking in that old attitude. Hallelujah. We can't continue to walk that way. Well, I've been like this all my life. Hallelujah. I will say whatever I think. No, no, no. I will do whatever I like to do. But here God is speaking. Who he said, and I wrote all of this down. He said, Who is your source? Who is your source? What did you hear and who is in your ear? Okay, your Hallelujah. You remember he's, <laughs> he brought this back, he brought this to me, you know, and, and I said, Lord, but he gave me Marvin Gaye. He saw, the song he gave to me was back, it said back in the day they said, he heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> He heard it through the grapevine. And, and I'm just going to say a little bit of it. He said, I heard it through the grapevine. No much longer would you be mine. I heard it through the grapevine. I'm just, also, I'm just about to lose my mind. <laughs> what did you hear? Who is your source? Who are you listening to? Because it depends on who you're listening to and who you are, 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 is in your ear, hallelujah, that you're about to lose your mind. Hallelujah. Who is your source? You can, you can hear it. Your source may be 
your social media. Hallelujah. And they got so much Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. Pinterest, what is it, Pinterest or something? Pin, oh, pin, oh, okay. Hallelujah. This may be your source. But is this a good source? Should this source be over in my ear? Is this what I do every day? Steady sitting there drawing from that source. I believe God said he's the source. He's the living source. Because some of those things that we listen and we, we see on Facebook and all this other social media, holly, it's not bringing you life. Do you want life, he said. Do you want to live? shama. So it depends on the source. It can be your news sitting in front of the TV, getting all that negative uh, stuff over in your spirit. It can be your government. It can be up in the White House listening to what they say. God said, I'm your source. I'm the one. And when we set up, and you know what? That uh, social media can be an idol. I know I didn't have that in my notes, but I just heard him say that. That can be an idol. Remember, hallelujah, uh, 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 uh. the prophet Isaiah, he was prophesied unto them. And God was talking about the idols, the idols that we are, have set up. Anything that we do more in seeking God, but we're seeking God. The social media to find out what's on there today. The news, what's on there today. Yeah, now who's in our ear? Because it depends on who's going through the eye gate, the ear gate. Yeah, bako shama. And when something goes in you, it's going down in your spirit, man. And then you begin to speak those things. Yeah, hallelujah. So who's your source? Remember, I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> About to lose my mind. About to lose my mind. Because we didn't heard so much negative stuff. That's why God said, daily bread. He give us his daily bread. His daily bread don't kill us. His daily bread don't cause us to lose our mind. But I believe his bread causes us uh, to have, he comes and he regulates our minds through the word of God. Yes, then he said, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to wind up here. It says, said the voice you're listening to, whose, whose voice are you listening to? Think about that a little. Who's, who got your ear? Whatever got your ear, you better let God have your ear. Amen. Hallelujah. We better let God have our ear. So who told you, and God said this to me to give to you, who told you your life is over? Who told you your life is over? You will not get up from this place. You will not, you're going to always be in this place. Who spoke that unto you? Hallelujah. He said, you will not get up from this place. The place of what? The place of sickness. The place of divorce. The place of loss of a job. The place of loss of a loved one. A broken heart. You're going to always be here. Who spoke that in your ear? Elabako Shama. Whose voice did you hear? He said, because I come that you might have life. And that you might have it more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah, didn't he say that? Yeah. So who's told you? Just because you may be up in age. Hallelujah. That you're going to always. It's going to always be like this. Who told you? Never. You're never coming out of the place of pain. You're never coming out of depression and anxiety. Fear and disappointment. Always struggling to pay a bill. Who told you that? Struggling in inflation. 
We say every time we go to the store, it seemed like the prices then went up more and more. The gases then went up more and more. Always struggling to pay your bill. Who's been talking to you? And who you've been listening to? Who you've been hanging out with? <laughs> God said, I know your struggles. I know every struggle that you have. I know that. But then he said he will provide. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, you got to know when uh, 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 the devil, because he come to steal, kill, and destroy. He come to take the hope that you have in God. He come to snatch your faith that you have in God. Hallelujah. So you got to know, I will provide. I am your shepherd, he said. And you shall not want. And then he told us, how he said, I'll prepare a table before you, before you, in the presence of your enemies. We got enemies. That enemy that's speaking into your ear, God will not provide. You're going to go without. You can't pay your bills. God said, take no thought for tomorrow. Hallelujah. Don't worry about tomorrow because I already got your back. I'm already taking care of you. You may not see it. You may be down to your last dime. Hey, la bako shama. Down to your last dime. dime. It seems like God is, is leading me to tell this testimony, and I'm saying, God, is the time yet? But just the last few months, God is, you know, when that scripture said, press down, shaking together, and running over, it's like that's what God is doing. Hey, la bako shama. But I remember him telling me some time ago, maybe a year ago, he said, I'm coming. How many believe you that he's coming? Amen. That's why I said, don't let your heart faint now. It's not time to faint. It's not time to give up. Hallelujah. Because God is coming right where you're at. But just in the last few months, I remember on Mother's Day, no, I think it was before then. I went to Akron, where my family sat. And when I came back home, my car was full of new stuff. Which my daughter, she had got me, I mean, she took me to the store. She just bought, and I, I, when I say my trunk and my back seat was full of stuff. I said, look at God. I'm telling this to help somebody else. Then after that, Holly, talking about inflation, <laughs> right before the inflation came, I think it may have been a month before, someone blessed me each month up to $400 worth of groceries. I'm talking about what God will do. Yeah, I'm saying, Lord, I went on Mother's Day. Came back with $500. Hallelujah. I said, Lord. But I had to remember when he said, I'm coming. It's not always going to be like this. Then on hmm, Friday, this past Friday, I get a letter in the mail from the Social Security. They didn't already deposit in my bank account back pay where they hadn't paid me. Yeah, and when I remember when I went to file for Social Security, they really didn't even want to give it to me. It wasn't much. And with the little that they did give, they took from that. You got, you got to pay from that. But I'm telling you about God. I left it alone, didn't say nothing. My husband, we didn't say no more, you know. But Friday, this past Friday, get the letter from Social Security telling me about they, hallelujah, hadn't paid me what they should have been paying me. Mm, mm, mm. They went back to 2017. Yeah, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was already in the bank. 
Already in the bank, an unexpected deposit in the bank account, which I didn't expect. But I'm talking about what God will do. Stay in there, he say. He's saying unto you. Don't try to come out of your process that he's got you in quicker because you're going to miss it. He said, but stand still. I know where you're at. Sometimes we say to ourselves, do God sees me? Yeah. Hallelujah. I remember that over in, who was that up? Haggai. Hallelujah. When God said, I see you. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. El Roi. I see you. God telling me to tell you, I see you. Yeah. Shama. I know what you're going through. I know what you've been through. But I'm going to bring you out of that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not a man that I got to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I have no reason to lie to you. I'm God. I don't have to tell you something and not let it come forth. So don't give up. Hold on. Stay in alignment with the will of God. Now, and if you fall out of alignment, because I'm not perfect, none of us is perfect. But get back where you need to be. Stay before God. Let your ear, hallelujah, be before his mouth, because there's always a next in God. Your season, some of us, our season is over. Over struggling, over going through this and that. It's time to rise up and be all that God has called us to be. Hallelujah. If you're discouraged, you got to shake that off. Shake off discouragement. Hallelujah. God is going to come through for his people. You don't know when he's coming, when he said wait. Don't wait murmuring and complaining, but wait in praise, wait in worship, wait laying at his feet, laying prostrate before him, wait there, because it's in the presence of the Lord, that's fullness of joy, you'll get that joy even when you haven't come out yet, but just being in his presence. God will speak a word to you. He may not tell you when you're coming out. Mm. He may not tell you when you're coming out, but just being in his presence. You come out feeling better. See, if they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. What they going to do? They going to mount up mm, with wings as an eagle. Hallelujah, they're going to run and not be weary. And they're going to walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So wait. Your weight, you're possessing your soul. God knows when he's going to bring you out. You can be over here today and over here tomorrow. I don't care how long. I'm still going through pain in my body. But I learn how each day when I get up and declare healing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Declare healing. Declaring a sound mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not saying every day I get up I feel like it. But it's not the way that I feel. He deserves the praise. Yeah. He deserves the honor. And he deserves the glory. Yeah. See when we get that perspective. Hallelujah. We don't know when he's bringing us out, but we're going to praise him anyhow. Yeah. What this uh, uh, song said, that song we used to sing, uh, don't, sh uh, we'll sh don't shout, what is it, shout to uh, battles over something. I'm not going to wait till the battle's over. I'm going to shout now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give him some praise. Shout now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're coming out. Hallelujah. You're coming out. Yalabako Shama. 
as, as uh, Elder Bowers told us on Sunday, we're coming out. Yeah, God would not allow that word to come forth if he wasn't going to do it. Yeah, Hallelujah. You coming out where you're at. See yourself coming out. Expect yourself coming out. Believe you're coming out. Shake off the doubt. Kill the doubt. Hallelujah. That, that devil is placed in you. I'm too old now. Hallelujah. I hear God saying your ladder. Your best days is ahead of you. They ahead of you. Yeah, and some of us, I didn't have some good days, but he said your best days. How many of you believe it's going to be your best day that's going to be ahead of you? So when we believe that the best days are ahead of us, we can praise them in the midst of what we're going through. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify you, God, for who you are. Thank you for being a great God, a mighty God, a faithful God unto us, oh God. Hallelujah. God, you do what you want to do because we belong to you. We don't belong to ourselves. But you purchase us with Jesus' blood. Hallelujah. So as we go forward, Lord, I pray, God, that you will seal this word into your people, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, build them up. They say, hallelujah. God, you said build yourself up on your most holy faith. And then you told us how to do it. We will bless the Lord at all times. And your praise shall continually be in our mouth. Hallelujah. He that keepeth his mind stayed on you. You will keep us in perfect peace. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you for this word. And we're going to walk in the word. We're going to walk in, God, the word that you've given unto us. We're going to walk in the promise, oh God. We see ourselves in there. We see ourselves doing it, God, what you've called us to do. No more sitting down. No more relaxing. Hallelujah. But God, we're getting up from where we at, even in the process. And we, God, we said, there's work to do, God. And Father, we thank you because we're willing vessels, yielding ourselves unto you, God, in the name of Jesus. Now, God, have your way. Have your way. Be glorified in everything. Everything we do or say in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. To the, amen, amen. I want to thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I would like you to remember the offering. Remember your tithes and your offering. You can see it on the screen, how to give, how to give. And let us remember that and let us do our part. Let us do our part. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for all that he has done. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name, amen.